Magandang umaga. For the first item in our agenda today, I have ordered the dismissal from police service of Police Lieutenant Joven de Guzman of Antipolo City Police Station who led a team of seven PMP personnel that figured in a highly irregular activity in Antipolo City in the early this year and were recommended for dismissal by the Internal Affairs Service as a consequence of their actions. De Guzman's, De Guzman's case was remanded to IAS, thus subsequent findings of guilt for grave misconduct satisfied all requirements of due process to impose the penalty of dismissal. Second, police law enforcement and public safety operations for the traditional observance of All Saints Day and All Souls Day culminated at midnight last night with no significant toward incident reported in all 17 regions of the country. However, PNP units manning police assistance centers along national highways, major thoroughfares, and public transportation hubs are under instructions to remain in their posts to provide continuous assistance to motorists and commuters returning to the urban centers from the long weekend holiday. The PNP National Operations Center reported generally peaceful situation during the three-day Undas holiday, particularly at the height of the observance of the Feast of the Dead in public cemetery, cemeteries and memorial parks. Police security forces confiscated eight firearms in separate law enforcement operations in Metro Manila, Central Luzon, Cagayan Valley, Western Visayas, Caraga, and Cordillera regions. A case of stolen motorcycle was reported in Central Luzon, while two cases of possession of illegal drugs were reported in Metro Manila and Eastern Visayas. A total of 4,491 prohibited items were confiscated, consisting of 3,361 bladed or pointed weapons and instruments, 977 alcoholic beverages, 71 assorted gambling paraphernalia, and 76 karaoke with joking machines. The police security and public safety template applied in UNDA serves as the dry run for the incoming national event, such as the Sea Games and the much bigger traditional extended Yultai season. In Sok Sargent, Northern and Southern Mindanao regions, <coughs> public safety and rescue and relief operations went underway simultaneously with the UNDAS holiday security operations during the weekend. PNP units in regions 10, 11, and 12 fielded 2,756 personnel for search, rescue, and relief operations in earthquake-affected areas, including 30 evacuation centers that are currently housing some 29,000 persons in Davao and Sok Sargent regions. CIDG field units and local PNP units in these regions are supporting DTI and LGU operations to strictly enforce a price freeze on basic commodities and essential goods in the areas declared under State of Calamity for Suwan to Republic Act 7581 or the Price Act. The law provides stable prices within the next 60 days on canned sardines, processed milk, bottled water, locally manufactured instant noodles, coffee, detergent soap, bread, candles, salt, rice, corn, and cooking oil, fuel, fresh pork, beef, poultry meat, and other products. In other developments, I have instructed the regional director of BARMM, Police Brigadier General Marnie Marcos, to initiate summary dismissal proceedings within 15 days against the three PNP personnel of Marantau Municipal Police Station, namely Police Executive Master Sergeant Monhel Nazal Aradais, Police Staff Sergeant Fami Bangan Como, and Patrolman Sindaili Magundakan Manalao, who were arrested by PIDEA and PNP agents in a, dry, in a drug bypass operation in Parang Magindanao last October 30, 
with 50 grams suspected shabu. Their immediate superior, Police Captain Sayludin Pinasi, Chief of Police of Marantau Police Station, has been relieved from his post and will undergo investigation. I would like to emphasize that the PNP internal cleansing program that we are implementing will be swift, decisive, and uncompromising, especially against personnel involved in illegal drugs. <coughs> it is unfortunate that this case of drug trafficking PNP members happened on the same day that another PNP member had to offer the supreme sacrifice in an encounter with a most wanted person elsewhere in Lanao del Sur. The PNP will bestow the highest honors for bravery and gallantry in action to Police Staff Surgeon Regan Salvino of the 103rd Special Action Company PNP SAF who died in line of duty while serving a warrant of arrest of a most wanted person in Barangay Lilod, Sadok, Marawi on the wee hours of October 30 that resulted in the arrest of six suspects including a minor and the death of Abdullah Kauru, 40, the subject of the warrant of arrest. Over the weekend, police military operations implementing Executive Order No. 66 to end the local communist armed conflict is believed to have broken the backbone of the underground movement in Western and Central Visayas with the arrest of 40 ranking CPP, NPA, NDF personalities and the rescue of 14 newly recruited CPP, NPA child warriors in a series of operations to serve four search warrants issued by the Honorable Ceciline Villavert, Executive Judge of RTC Branch 89 of Quezon City in Barangay 33, Barangay Bata, and Barangay Tapuling, all in Bacolod City. Subsequent search yielded a total of 32 assorted firearms, three hand grenades, two 40mm grenade launcher, assorted live ammunition, subversive documents, and paraphernalia. The arrested persons are undergoing documentation and investigation, while the rescued child warriors will be placed under the care of DSWD. Finally, the steady decline in crime victimization over the past three years, as shown in the latest surveys, validate general observations of lesser crime and lesser fear of crime. I would like to point out that victimization by common crimes reported in surveys is usually much higher than the number of crimes actually reported to the police. This explains the perennial disparity in numbers between surveys and police records. But proportionately, the survey results are consistent with the crime data generated by the PNP from reported crime incidents recorded in police blabbers. The same public confidence indicated in the surveys is a factor that adds to accurate crime reporting because more victims are now coming forward to report the crime. This allows us to get a better and more realistic picture of the crime environment. Let me emphasize that there are certain crimes types that are seasonal in terms of frequency which become more prevalent when the element of opportunity is present such as during the holiday season when the objects of crime abound. To break the cycle, we are reinforcing focused police operations against street crime and other forms of criminal activity that are prevalent during the holiday season. These include non-contact crime committed through cyberspace and telecommunication platforms which are fast becoming notorious forms of crime against poverty. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And the OIC will now enter the questions. First. Sir, um, during the flag raising ceremony, sir, you mentioned about a hundred policemen were also victims of uh, earthquake in Mindanao. Can you give us uh, more uh, details on this? Sir, and, uh, yes, areas? I have yet to get, no? Uh, ang alam kong specific is 77 in Region 12. Kasi kung nakita natin doon sa news, no, yung sa makilala, may mga police din doon. We're even also canvassing kung ano yung mga structures ng PNP na nasira so that we can address this. So sabi ko nga, 
bigyan din namin ng priority yung aming mga police kasi marami rin kaming police na biktima but uh, national headquarters will address that yung inannounce ko kanina yung voluntary donation from all the PNP members at starting at 10 pesos no? but I'm not uh, I'm encouraging everyone to donate some more for the victims doon sa earthquake natin sa Mindanao particularly in regions 10, 11 and 12 Pero yung, pero yung donation will not only for the PNP personnel? No, the donation will be for the constituents. Yung sa naapektuhan namin na PNP personnel, kami na ang bahala doon sa Philippine National Police. As a matter of fact, I required all the financial institutions to offer them uh, whether rin siguro yung uh, zero interest loans, especially sa repair ng mga houses, and soft loans no, for them. But the national quarters will be the one addressing that, yung mga biktima ng mga police. Pero yung donation namin na uh, starting at 10 pesos voluntary from each of the members of the PNP will be for the constituents other than the PNP personnel. Thank you. Okay. Church? Church? Morning. Church? Regarding po doon sa arrests sa mga uh, allegedly civilian PNP members, sir, uh, ang allegations sila, of course, is this is a crackdown on legitimate uh, organizations. At the same time, uh, may, uh, may expected yung mga evidence, sir. For instance, may isang Facebook Live na papakita, sir, na may nakuhang bag doon sa damuhan. Uh, tapos may nakuhang caliber 38 na pistol, sir. You're responsible, sir. Legit legitimacy is is a status which they can prove during the trial if ever this will be pursued in the courts. Planting of evidence, stolen items are the usual allegations when we conduct search warrants. That's why the law provides na dapat may kasama kayong media, may kasama kayong local government units who will witness the service of the search warrant to avert all of these allegations. But let them prove themselves in court if they say that these are planted. Siguro naman, kung ma-prove nila sa court, then necessarily the cases will be dismissed. Otherwise, they cannot allege that kung talagang may sasampay ito sa court. What will happen is, the confiscated evidences will be returned to the court. No? Kasi may return mo yung search warrant, so i return mo rin doon yung, ibibigay mo din yung mga evidence confiscated. And from then on, we will build up the case to file against them. Basically for illegal possession of firearms and explosives. Sir, follow up lang, sir. Uh, given this situation, sir, you said that uh, this is like uh, destroying the backbone or in Santa Luzo, in Santa Luzo, Visayas, among others, sir. So, nakikita na natin, sir, or establish natin fully yung interconnection of the, these uh, organizations with the CPPNPA, given that, uh, of course, yung mga uh, nirave po natin ay mga offices ng mga uh, activist organizations. We're starting off with a legal basis muna ng service of the search warrant. Kung sagutin nila yung mga illegal possession nila ng firearms and explosives. Later on, we're starting to build up cases to prove to them na they are supporting the CPP NPA. Kaya ito nagkagan dito sa Republika eh. Well, some of the other non-government organization <coughs> na kunwari humanitarian sila, but they're doing otherwise. No? Now they're starting to feel and to get hurt on the campaign of government to end the local communist terrorists. And they will continue to do so unless they stop. Sir, another topic, sir, uh, regarding the hazing, sir, sa alleged uh, maltreatment, sir, sa Philippine National Police Academy. Sir, when you heard about the story, sir, what was your reaction? I'm sad, no? Kasi, syempre, bago na yun sa PMA, doon ako nagaling. And really, si Police Brigadier General Chiki Malayo is doing his best. No? Kung makita nyo doon sa Academy, there are a lot of measures na ginawa na ni Chiki Malayo. And as a matter of fact, doon sa nangyaring uh, merong na hospital na si Cadet Residerio, agad-agad nagpa-investiga siya. Agad-agad, uh, nirestrict yung mga involved. 
and including yung mga direct superiors like the squad leader, the platoon leader, will all were also stripped off of their authority to oversee and supervise the teams. But we will get to the bottom of this. And because may nangyari kanon, and indeed it is maltreatment, we will see to it that these cadets who are involved will be dismissed from PNP. Sir, uh, especially kakalipat lang sa PNP kasi sir dito na PNP. So, kumbaga, parang some are saying that this is not a good sign na, you know, after malipat po sa inyo uh, na jurisdiction over PNPA is uh, these things still happen. Bigyan nyo naman ang chance ang PNP, no? We are still on the transition. As a matter of fact, the turnover is not yet complete. But nevertheless, we do not escape from that responsibility. So kung bad start man tayo, then let it start that way. No? But we will do our best na hindi na ito mangyari ulit. Sir, may, may detalye po ba tayo? Let's say, for instance, sabi kasi ano eh, isang second class ka din doon po yung involved. Isang person pa lang. Baka na po may naibigay pang detalye sa si General Malayo. We will, you can contact uh, General Malayo and uh, he can give you all the details. Kung sino yung involved, including the names, uh, he can give you that. Thank you. Thank you, Church. Commission under kami doon. So, kung ano man yung recommendations nila to the chairman, we're not privy to it. So, ang suggestion ko, you ask the chairman or the vice chairman kung ano yung details. But what we can say is that inibisiga nila administratively si General Bayade and the others. What does this mean for the PNP as an institution? Okay, kasi yun ang palaging question eh. Who will chief the chief PNP? That's why it's elevated to the National Police, Co Police Commission who can actually exercise or who can actually decide on a case without the influence of the PNP. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, very, it's, a, it's a very accepted uh, course of things that happen. At least kung ang National Police Commission maglabas ng results, I think kahit kayo hindi nyo sasabihin na may bahid yun ng PNP. Because the only probable participation of the PNP in the commission is when the chief PNP sits as the ex officio commissioner of the Napolco, which I do not have that power. So, wala yan sa akin to sit down in the Napolco. So, yung gawa ng Napolco is purely the National Police Commission Act without the chief PNP or the OIC sitting as an, a member or as an ex officio member of the commission. Let the people speak. No? Kasi kung sasabihin ko naman ako, it will be biased. So, we'll see what the people will do, what the people will uh, will speak about, and ano yung uh, appreciation nila on the things that's happening in the PNP. Sir, um, a few weeks in, do you think po, um, the, the PNP has been able to regain back the public's trust a few weeks after General Abayana stepped down? I'm convinced, yes. Slowly. Thank you. Any other question? Yeah, that's me. Good morning, sir. Sir, yung kay Lieutenant Tegusman po, i-clarify lang namin if um, yung dismissal sa kanya is final now or he can still file a motion for reconsideration. Pwede pa siya mag-file ng motion for reconsideration in my office, to my office. No? Kasi part of due process yun. But yun kasi yung nangyari na ni-remand ko. So that's why the investigation was very swift. Because he did not answer. So it was tried ex parte. Ibig sabihin, without his participation, the case went ahead. And it's not even required by law that he will answer. So pag hindi siya sumagot, ibig sabihin, wala siyang bagong ebidensya na gusto i-present ka. No, because the only way that you can rebut no, or you can 
in a motion for reconsideration or gusto mong, kasi iba na yung charge niya, iba Greg, dapat nagpresent na siya ng evidences na hindi na-appreciate nung former summary hearing officer. Pero hindi niya ginawa. In two notices, he did not respond. So we tried the case ex parte, which is allowed by procedure and by law. Now, pagkatapos nito, ibibigay namin sa kanya, he has, I think, 10 or 15 days to answer. Pag hindi na naman siya sumagot, then that's executory. And his next course of action is to appeal, pero i-implement na namin. And his next course of action, by reason of appeal, will be under the National Act. Any follow-up? Yeah. Hi, sir. Good morning. Um, sir, konting update lang po dun sa foil the kidnapping attempt sa Naiya Terminal 3 ng 8 uh, Chinese nationals. That's right. Foil to the perspective na hindi natuloy. No? But they can still be charged for kidnapping under our laws. Now, actually, nagbigay ako ng directive sa anti uh, kidnapping group, including the Directorate for Operations, to profile the victims and the suspects of these Chinese nationals. And may maybe we can get the cooperation and help of the Chinese Embassy on this predicament. Kasi parang naging frequent na siya. No? In the past few weeks, parang ang daming cases na ganun. So we will make a, a complete and comprehensive report and last Saturday, I think the chief of the investigation of the Chinese police was here. So we will include that in our coordination with, with them. Sir, what has been the cooperation done by the Chinese counterparts on Saturday, especially since marami tayong Chinese nationals in Philippines right now? Actually, yung meeting last Saturday attended by the director for intelligence and director for CADG, I have yet to get the after activity report. But basically, it's a cooperation on all aspects, not only on investigation, including trainings, uh, exposures of police, uh, PNP personnel in China, and vice versa. So, hindi pa namin ako finalize kung ano talaga yung lahat na pag-usap. We'll keep you posted after the acti after activity report is uh, submitted. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Other questions? Alfred? Uh, yeah. Hi, sir, Pat Pao from TV5. Sir, can I just follow up on the hazing incident? Sir, uh, um, can you say pa rin ba na talamak ang hazing sa PNP? Oh. There's only one incident. There's only one incident. Pero pag siguro nagsunod-sunod, saka natin sabihin na naman. But as of yet, there was only a single incident. So isolated case? Yes, and as a matter of fact, lumabas na yung uh, court class sa hospital. Exactly. He's, uh, I think, he returned back for duty. Sir, could you just tell us kung ano yung naging motive? Bakit po siya sinaktan? Meron naman tayong details on that, sir. I don't want to preempt it. I will wait for the... You can call uh, General Malay. Kung gusto niyo talaga yung anong details about it. And he will tell you. Pag hindi niya sinabi sa inyo, sabihan niyo ako para sabihan ko siya. <laughs> uh, sir, last one. Sorry. PMA has a war against easing ang PNPA ba? Would you encourage them to do Of course. So? Of course. Kaya nga meron tayong anti-hazing loan. And, and the penalties are very harsh. I just don't know. Baka kulang lang siguro sa education talaga yung mga cadets natin. Baka ayaw pa rin nila magbago over the traditional way of getting discipline. And kung ano na yung demand ngayon, especially with the enactment of the anti-hazing. Thank you, Pat. Any other questions before we finally end? Si Alfred. Alfred? Do you have questions? Wala, wala. Because, yun nga, hindi kasama sa powers ko to sit down as an ex-official. It's not included in my OIC authority. But, sabi ko nga, I would like to request no, the commission to invite me. Not because of the investigation, but because of other policies that requires priority attention of the commission. Kasi marami, like yung sinasabi ko yung sa internal affairs. It will require a National Police Commission resolution to empower them. No, meron kami mga detail. Another is uh, 
yung probable two ranks higher ano, to, for the two-star general for all regional directors. I also want to pursue that. And I can only pursue that intelligently and with a debate if I will be invited and sit down in the commission. Sure, that's right. Uh, last month, the vice chairman, uh, vice chairman of was the first to absorb uh, for the chief I think it's now one of the Without even appreciating yet the evidences. No, but remember, the vice chairman is only one member of the five-man commission. And whenever they decide, they always decide as a collegiate body. So kung maglabas pa ng kanya-kanyang puro-puro yung bawat membro, kanya lang yun. But remember, when the National Police Commission speaks, it is a collegial decision, it is a collegial, uh, it is a collegial matter na ilalabas nila. Hindi na individual. Kasi magdibati sila doon lahat, but finally, they have to come up with one unified uh, collegial decision. So that's the last the last the last We ano, we bring it back to the community. Siguro nakita nila na nandoon yung mga police and they cooperated. And Palagi ko nga sinasabi that dito kaya ng pulis. We really need the cooperation of the community. At yun naging resulta ng undas, a big participation came from the community. Thank you very much. So, no more questions. Thank you very much, sir, for your presence for this morning. Maraming salamat.